And Bella, you hated PDCGO a lot, but I'm saying for specifically for like set launches and bugs, uh, PDCGO would rarely like there was that Reggie Gigas issue, whatever it was with the energy that I can't even remember. But it's like with a PDCGO set launch, it would basically be zero issues, right? A set would come out and you wouldn't be like, oh, I wonder what's broken this time. Uh, with PDCGO, it's just like, oh, the set will work 100%. You never even put any thought into the game potentially not working because it just worked. <laughs> Gift energy, thank you. Thank you, Shiny Ray. Because wasn't that after I'd switched to, li to live? Or was that before I'd switched to live? And yeah, Shiny Ray summed it up perfectly. PDCGO wasn't perfect, but it was miles better than PDCGL. And yeah, w will live have a successful set release before the release of Twin Leaf? Well, Paradox Rift is probably the only one until that happens. Okay, how does Lugia beat this? Can I beat this? Um, and Edward, 100%. Crafting cards makes it so much easier, but... PDCGO could have just made some slight improvements. <laughs> PDCGO just needed a couple slight improvements and then it would be better than live. Alright, so they got a Manaphy and a thingy thing in there. Let's see what Capturing Aroma gets me. No, what I meant is like they would only need slight improvements to have made it a better game is what I meant. So if they would have made slight improvements to just the way they, they doled out cards, then it would have been better. Alright, so do I go Iono and then hope I find a jet energy and then we read the wind? And has Toad Scroll even been fixed yet? No, Toad Scroll has not been fixed yet. Well, we got a V-Guard. That was not Poggers. Alright, so... We are going to Misa Goza. And Mesa Goza is just uh, your opponent finds whatever they want and they win. <laughs> Ma goes, yeah. When it was announced, I went I went for it right away, and then everything went wrong. Am I the only one here that likes trading? I like trading because you could just give players everything they needed. So it's like, oh, hey, I need a weird ear V and I don't have any packs. Be like, okay, I'll give you a weird ear V. It's that simple. And Shiny Ray, Shiny Ray loved trading because Shiny Ray could get everything. You know, Shiny Ray had the most expensive Avatar outfit. Shiny Ray had all the blinged out cards. You know, you could trade for Heart Gold Soul Silver cards because that's the way the, the world works. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> everyone's asking for 500. But it, it was better for for just being able to give people collections, right? Like, I wish it was better in the sense that I could have, you know, like just given people cards really easily, but it was very tedious. So it's just, there needed to be rules in place, and it, it shouldn't have been left up to the community to price cards. Like, there should have just been... We should have been given more free cards and free decks from the game itself, because that would drive down the prices of cards. Because as you saw way back in the day when they gave out Computer Search for free, Computer search was, you know, 50 packs to 100 packs, and then they gave it away for free, and it dropped down to, like, 2 to 5 packs. Okay, Mesa Goza, I don't ask for much. All I need you to do is everything in the history of the world. Thank you. Alright, this is going to be an insane turn. Watch me draw into all of my energy. 100, 100 million dollar bet here that we just draw into pure energy here and no Ludia Vista or anything. Okay, um, hmm. Heads is Ludia. 
Heads is lewd. Yeah, that's good. All right, we'll put you down. The 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 problem with putting the Muiax down prematurely is that I can't do all the things. But I think we can. I need ten energy. No, I need a way to get you into the active. So let's go summoning star. All right. Um. There is a slight chance that I can draw some targets because we don't need the Lux Ray. All right, we're gonna. Nah, there's no way I make this happen. Okay, so we'll go get Drapion. We don't need Drapion. So we'll get you. And then I will Ultra Ball away that and that. We'll go get a. Do I get a Ludia V? Because I really wish I had Jet Energy. The deck only plays four of them. I don't know why I'm going to get Ludia. It's been forever since I played this deck. But that's what we're doing. Alright, so Primal Turbo. Let's go Gift Energy and Double Turbo. Boom, boom. And then we just have to be very careful here. So Tempest Dive. And Vast, well they give you Charizard EX deck and Toadstool EX for free. Like they give you a new pack every single time that they come out with a brand new set, so that's good. And Einzig? You tried the new Maridon? Because Zapdos is bad. Zapdos be bad. But whatever side of the fence your bare feet slide on, I think we can all agree that PDCGO could have been better and TCG Live can be a lot better. The difference is, is that TCG Live should be better, and it's not. All right. Um... Yeah, that weird ear I'm very concerned about. All right, we're going to go double turbo and V guard. So double turbo and V guard on this guy, and then therapeutic. And what you call it on this guy? Okay, then we just have three jet energy left in deck, and that's absolutely perfect. And then we Iono, but they're definitely gonna just be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna Sableye your weird ear." As much as I don't want to lose the weird ear right now, ah, uh, this is so tough. Do I, do I bump the weird ear right now? Because they're obviously playing Psychic Energy and then just try to math my way through this. I think I have to. I think I have to. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to, but I think I have to. And then I think we'll keep the Collapse Stadium in play because that potentially messes them up a little bit. The issue, of course, is that if they just get another Charizard, they knock out my Ludia. I can damage them, but I can't do, like, all the things I want to do. Couldn't Mew EX just go in everything anyways? Yes, that's what we're doing, Sonny! If you paid attention, instead of just wondering what my feet look like. Don't, don't be weird, dear. And Bella, no, you don't blame them since the game doesn't make any money, but it's their fault that the game doesn't make any money. So it's, uh, it's like when you put your feet together and it creates like a, an oval and it's just a continuous loop. That's kind of what it is. It's like a, a snake eating itself. So that's the problem is, yes, it doesn't make any money, but they chose not to let it make money. And Paul said, yeah, why, why don't they show evolution trees? How am I liking Mew EX? It's good. You know, I don't regret making this number one in my top 10 video because it is 
in our unargue inarguably inarguably the best card in the set and Derek well if you watch the video uh, about microtransactions that I made they do have microtransactions coded into like the the code microtransactions are coded into it and they're just they're hilariously bad. Alright, so there goes Sableye. Uh, really bad as in they are wildly overpriced. Okay, so we'll go capturing Aroma. I would like to just get a Lumineon, but of course the one time we actually get the thing... All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the funny thing. Are you ready for a funny thing? Are you prepared? Are your butts ready for a funny thing to happen? All right, so we go bosses hors d'oeuvres, the Radiant Greninja. Are you ready for a funny thing? Funny thing happened funny time. All right, boom. Yeah, you got. you don't got no bench barrier on that thing, do you? And Paulson, yeah, I'll show you my funny thing. So we can't take two prizes, but they also can't really do anything this coming turn. So all we got to do is take a knockout and then take a knockout and that's GG. And Big Smooth, yeah, funny things make my boss stiff. We did funny thing. That's the first time I've ever copied Moonlight Shuriken with Mew. And I mentioned this in the video, you have to be very careful about the fact that you would do 70-70, because if you attach the double turbo to Mew, it does 20 less damage. And a question, I know, right? That's the beauty. That is like, that is what skyrocketed Mew. It's like, what's the most oppressive attack in standard if you're playing a single prize deck or if you're playing Lost Box? You know, Lost Box doesn't have a... Did you... Did you just do what I think you did? <laughs> Steven, the red, what are you doing? And SM? Yeah, it was nine. That's just that's just TCG Live being TCG Live. It, it says 90-90, and then when the attack actually hits, it's 70-70. So that's just TCG Live being TCG Live and doing TCG Live things. And they have, they've already lost the game because I have jet energy. I have, you know, enough energy to retreat. That is fine. I'll just go into Lugia. Yeah, it's just, uh, SM, it's just TCG Live being TCG. Okay. <laughs> what was, what was the point of the escape robe? I guess I'll... I'll give them a thumbs up in case in case they're uh, thinking like, oh, I got to do a whole bunch of things to math it. I'm like, no, I just I have win. I would flash a well played if TCG Live had well played. Bosses or d'oeuvres. All right, boom. And then Jet Energy. And then let's hack some genomes. And let's get rid of double Sableye, because that's what winners do. Yeah, just that's one of the reasons why I was like, yeah, Mew EX is easily number one, is because you can copy Moonlight Shuriken. And just your opponent, your opponent's obviously not thinking like, oh, they don't have a Radiant Greninja down, or they're they're not playing Water Energy, so I don't have to worry about my bench being attacked by Radiant Greninja. And then you're just like, oh no, I play Mew, and like four bosses orders. Oh, and I. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! 
the the official Pokemon TCG account just muted me. The official Pokemon TCG account muted me. This is insane. I I'll, I'll put it up on screen. This is hilarious. Oh my god, I am I am having the time of my life. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. Just gotta finish my turn here. Ah, oh, that is, that is hilarious. Alright, we'll go get, I think we'll go get Ludia V-Star. And then we just end turn. Okay. Uh, it wasn't even criticism. The official Pokemon TCG Twitter account just muted me for saying fossils are broken on PDCGL. <laughs> All right, so I got to go to replies. And then we got to get that on screen. So they muted me. <laughs> they have they have muted me. You know, I it was slightly misleading because I said uh what did I say? I said unfortunately Kabutops is not playable on PDC GL right now due to the fossil rare candy glitch. But, like, it's it's true, right? You're not going to play Kabutops if you can't rare candy the fossil. So, uh, the official Pokemon TCG Twitter account just muted me for saying fossils are broken on PDCGL. This reply was hidden by the original author. That is insane. Okay, I'll get that, uh, I'll get that on screen. Just give me one second. I didn't realize I'm doing so amazingly. I'm doing so sexily right now. We're going to go get me a Zinnia. All right, so we go get Zinnia. Yeah, because I was talking bad about Kangaskhan. That's what it was. All right, and we're just destroying Lost Box here today. I mean, I know that I'm going to be taking a prize, and maybe it's not the best thing, but we'll go uh, double turbo and I think gift energy. So double turbo gift energy. Uh, oh, I screwed that up. I should have put the therapeutic on there. Whoopsie. Okay, and then we want... Actually, do I want to give them Artisan? Because they're having a really tough time over there. All they did was play a Nest Ball and Lost Zone a Raihan. So, <laughs> I don't think we want to do that. Uh, but I do want to Ultra Ball somebody into play. I think we do just want the Mew in play. Because it's highly likely that they're not going to be playing, you know, other things. So let's go. We'll put the gift energy on that guy. And then we'll Mew for one. Yeah, that's the first time they've ever acknowledged me. All right, we'll go Thumping Snore. Uh, this is hilarious. I love this. You know, it's the first time they've ever acknowledged me. <laughs> All right, I got to get the original. Uh, okay. So we got to get the original. They're going to knock out my dude. So we got to go PDCG. PDCG muted me. <laughs> PDCG muted me. All right. Yeah. Well, no, I was just helping them out. I was just like, you know, you, yeah, I mean, I'm negative all the time, but it's true. You know, you know, I, I'm as negative as I like whacking off. You know, I whack off so much, I'm negative. So that was, that was my reply. <laughs> that was me. Hey, everyone, this is me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. All right, let's, uh... The odds of them having a boss's hors d'oeuvres are extremely slim right now. So let's get rid of the Spluppinator and those. 
So there you go. They muted me. Um, we're going to go primal turbo for the double turbo. And that'll go there. Then we'll attach the therapeutic. So we're going to go thumping snore. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I probably could have attacked with Lugia and that might not have been the worst thing in the world. Well, let's go VDAR, Gift Energy. We're going to attach that there and that there. We're going to thump some snores. But, I mean, I don't really care. It's just, I mean, I care in the sense that, you know, they're noticing me. But this reply was hidden by the original post author. You love it. You love it. And I'll, I'll include a link to my... Yeah, I, I know. See? The original does still exist. It'll be in the tweet. Oh, they did get it, but that's fine. I'll just take a knockout. You know, they're really grasping at straws right now. All right, so we'll send up the Ludia. And then I guess I'll just put like two V-Dart on this guy. Uh, yeah, because how much am I doing? I'm doing 220. We can do 200. Sure, let's do 200. 200 is good to me, and then we can put a bunch of energy back into the deck with Iono. We'll take a KO, and then they're only down to three, so that should be GG's. But we shall find out momentarily, and we definitely want to bump that beach court. Oh, man. You, you love to see it. Just that's what I'm happy about is they, they acknowledged me. They finally noticed me <laughs> for the wrong reasons. But I'll take it. Uh, okay, so they... Wait, I, I ownowed them into freaking... <laughs> I, I ownowed them into everything? Okay, uh, that's not good. So, I think I have to give them Snorlax, right? Or Archeops? I think... No, I think we give them Archeops, because then if I can find Weird Ear... Then we're okay. Alright, well, maybe they reinstated it, because... Yeah, this... No, they... They haven't... That's, it's literally the thing. It says, this reply was hidden by the original post author. So it is still there. They muted me. They're coming after me, everybody. Okay, do we, do we still have the dude? Is the dude still in the deck? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I just bosses that guy. And then uh, we'll go jet energy, that guy. Because they're not doing 280, right? They're not doing 280. I'm playing good decks all day. Can we get that on a shirt? Yeah, this post reply has been muted. And you're playing... Yeah, I know. I'm playing a good deck. It's crazy. It doesn't happen very often. Strongwoods, welcome in. How are you doing? We got the weird deer. We're putting the weird deer down. And then I guess I want to... I think we just flood the field with energy and just put all the energy on the weird deer. Right? Because that'll be like our wind condition is weird deer. So I won't put any jet energies on the thing. But, you know, there there is a chance that this doesn't go our way. All right, we'll put that there. And then I will collapse Stadium, the Luminion. And then we go Tempest Dive, take the KO. Shiner, it's good because it doesn't have it. Okay, it's good because it doesn't have it. And Equestrian, what? What? How dare they suggest... 
Uh, probably the biggest person live in the category that I'm live in right now. How dare they? <laughs> How dare they try to promote other streamers in the same category that I'm in? It's like they don't care about me. It's like they... The Pokemon company doesn't care about me. Twitch doesn't care about me. But I know that all of you care about me. Alright, I don't understand how they're going to win this game. You know, I think we would have won anyways. Like, I put the Mew EX down, and they just got really lucky with all of their, you know, draws. Like, I literally Iono'd them into Rare Candy Charizard on an Iono to three. So, they got, they got super lucky. And Strongwoods? Well, there there is a way that you can get millions... Sometimes, you all care about me. Why would you give me money if you didn't care about me? Okay, that's how I met my current girlfriend. I, you know, it, it, I went to a club, uh, an adult type club. I gave her money and now she's my girlfriend. All right, so this is good because they have, <laughs> they have no idea what I'm playing right now. It's like, wait, all I see is a ditto with splup. And then what's gonna happen? They're gonna get splupped. But how do I, how do I win? That is what, okay, so we have Artisan to go get a Snorlax, but Artisan kind of helps them. And I would also need to keep the Artisan in case they play Path to the Peak. And Simon, one of a kind. I'm literally one of a kind. Alright, so we'll, we'll transform into a Ludia. Are they going to go for a Cram... Ooh, they went Cramorant and Manaphy. So they miscalculated. They were like, okay, well, I should probably go for Manaphy, but that is a miscalculation there. We're going to... Splup. <laughs> we're going to Transformative Start for Lugia. And then... I mean, I guess now I can use Artisan, but again, the problem is, what if I... What if I mess this up? Okay, well, <laughs> the one time Artisan would actually make any sort of sense, the card that we need is prized. All right, let's go. I think we just go double turbo Iono and assume that we'll get an Archaeops. There's four in the deck. <laughs> okay, well, this will be this will be tails, right? No, it's heads. It's heads? We don't want heads? Oh, wait, heads is the evolution. Well, I don't know these things, okay? You can't... You can't expect me to know things, alright? That's just an un... That's unfair pressure to put on me. I only threw Kangaskhan in the poll to just fill out the poll, right? Okay, so they'll go Chorus. They will not have a Mirage Date turn because the most I think they can get is six. Because two on the Chorus, two on the Comfey. So they get to six. But if they are able to use Lost Vacuum, that is how they'll be able to do it. So there is potential for them to completely screw me over. And Vodouche, I didn't want to risk losing any of my energy. And I also couldn't risk losing the Pumpkaboo. Hey, whoa, wait. They would have had it if they kept the Lost Vacuum. So maybe they don't have a very good hand. Or maybe they're locked into something else. Because they're going to be at six. If they'd gone for the Lost Vacuum, they might are, I mean, they might have three in the deck. And they might already have one, but... Uh, yeah, it's just... Okay, there's Path to the Peak. They're not going to Lost Vacuum that. That's why I kept the Pumpkaboo. We have a chance. They could have just won the game, but I guess their hand wasn't perfect. All right, well, we got Mesa Goza. That's even better. All right, so Mesa Goza. Um, I mean, technically, I should Great Ball first. But I'd rather find out what Mesa Goza gets me first. 
Okay, good, good. I was like, well, maybe we should Great Ball first, but, you know, what Mesa Doza does is going to determine quite a bit. All right, that's actually a busted uh, Great Ball pull. Um, I think we just abandon all hope, or do we... Because we prize the Snorlax, which is very bad. I think we abandon the... Ah, we'll get rid of that. We'll go for an Iono. So we'll get Lugia. We'll go for an Iono off the Luminion. Because I can't knock out the Giratina, unfortunately. Uh, yes, I want to use Luminous Sign. We will Iono. If I could knock out the Giratina, I would do it. All right, let's go boom, and then summoning star. We'll get rid of the Mesa Goza. Oh, don't want to put that in play. All right, I don't want to attach to anybody. I'm sure we'll draw into a handful of energy because that's just what this game does. <laughs> All right, well, I called it. Uh, let's go and find somebody good. Alright, we have Evolutions, we have Lugia V-Star, I guess we go... Because we're going to be going ahead on prizes. They might do the thing, and if they do the thing, I want to be able to do the counter thing. So if they do the thing, then we'll have a, a chance. Okay, well that's bad. Let's go get Lugia. I definitely should have saved that one Lugia V. That was my bad. Alright, yes, let's get rid of Mesa Goza. Should have put the Ludia V down. I should have been like, okay, we don't need the Pump Kaboo. I can get rid of the Pump Kaboo. Completely unnecessary card. And then we put the Ludia V down so we have a backup attacker. I miscalculated, you know? How was I supposed to know that Capturing Aroma would only get me evolutions? How did I know that Capturing Aroma would only be an evolution incense? And Shiny Ray, how is a deck with three v, un v unions in it worse than Kangaskhan? Okay, that is just like consistency. You can't prize three different pieces of three, or one different piece of three different V unions. It's literally statistically impossible. Okay, that's why you play, you know, you can play five V unions in a deck and then you're guaranteed to at least have access to one of them. But one of them would be Zacian, and that would be that would be bad. Yeah, perfect math. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. How many? They only have seven. Okay, so they're powering up the Greninja, which is very interesting. So I think I give them Luminion. The deck doesn't play any Water Energy though, so they're gonna go Radiant Greninja. Moonlight Shuriken. I don't mind knocking out the Radiant Greninja. Just obviously I do have to, you know, hurry things up here. Please top deck like a weird ear. Okay, there's Zinnia. Oh, God. Um... Okay, what's the Lugia count? We're down to Lugia V. Sure, let's go with, uh, let's go with this. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? All right, so we can't use Drapion. We are never, ever getting back together. All right, let's... Uh... That is horrible. Uh, I guess I... <laughs> do I play the Grass Radio? No, that would, be, that would be useful in this situation. All right, let's go... You know, I don't think we're using that reversal this game. Just a, just a hunch. So the the reason I'm gonna lose this game is because I didn't bench that one Lugia V. That is the difference between me winning and losing this game is the fact that I didn't bench the Lugia V because I thought, oh, oh you know, I'll draw into Weird Ear or, you know, I'll get the Snorlax off the prizes. So, prizing Snorlax, not putting Ludia down, those were my fatal errors this game. 
But again, you know, I have to anticipate that Live is going to do everything it can to make sure I get the worst possible draws. So that's another thing I have to keep in mind is I have to, you know, anticipate that everything is going to go wrong. Because if I was able to get a Lugia V, then I could knock out those Giratina with a Lugia V star and everything would be awesome. Because Lugia V star does 220, I could get two, you know, I could get two jet energies, two gift energies on the thing. Oh, they're going to get to 10. And we've lost. Uh, but they're at 9. And Sunny... No, it it is it is Live's fault, okay? I would have won this game, but it is Live's fault. Unless they have just the absolute worst hand in history. Alright, they're going for another Radiant Greninja. We're definitely going to boss that up if they don't have it. Okay, so they're at 10. <laughs> if the roll was lower, I could time out Sunny for you. But they seem to be having a really tough time. They're down, how many Mirage Dates? One Mirage Date, two Mirage Date. They're putting more energy in the Lost Zone. There's six there. There's three there. They are very low on energy. So I'll go, I think I'll go Collapse Stadium. And then... Okay, we'll see what this does. I'm sure this will I'm sure this will work. Every single time. Look at all the good stuff we have in the deck. I could go for Radiant Greninja, I could get Weird Ear, I could get the Lugia. Alright, so they will bump the Manaphy for sure. And then I guess I boss's orders the Greninja. And then, like, do I put the Drappy on? But that's 190. That's not a good number. Uh, where's the weird ear when you need it? All right, we'll just go Tempest Dive. No. Hey, there you are. Perfect timing. Can we get the Snorlax at least? Thank you. But no, we're not going to Permaban Gazer. No, when things go wrong, blame the game that can't defend itself. And Shiny Ray, see? I mean, if you would have just asked nicely, I might have battled you anyways. And Andrew Zavala just said, what are y'all doing silencing the best beta tester you guys have? There you go. But, okay, so the, the reasons why we... <laughs> Wait, Florida, Florida State? The entire state of Florida is against Sunny. The entire state of Florida is against Sunny. Oh, I gave a shout out. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. Time, sorry, time out. That's what I meant. All right, let's uh, let's give them the Luminion. I didn't mean to do that. Can I? Can I take it back? Can I take it back? Actually, yeah, I think that's fair. I think timing out before or shouting out before timing out is perfect. Alright, so we will knock out the Sableye, but, you know, maybe they just don't have it like that. There is potential of them not having like that, having it like that, but I have a very damaged Lugia. If we can just get Weird Ear, I still think we lose. But if we can just get Weird Ear, everything is awesome. Alright, we'll go Tempest Dive, take a KO, and then no... But they got the... What was it? I Was it Iona or Roxanne? Wait, the deck plays two Snorlax? <laughs> I prized both? <laughs> Against the Lost Box deck, I prized both? That's how you know the game really has it out for you. When it prizes both Snorlax. Okay, there's no way you have another, like, energy... You're down four Psychics. There's no way you didn't prize more of them. Right? Literally impossible. Okay, there's escape rope. That's not the worst thing in the world because we do have a retreat card. They're they're gonna deck out though, so they have to find a super rod. But if they find a super, they got rid of Mirage Date. Do we just win via deck out? 
Because, uh, okay, they're super odd, but they still have to do some things, right? Because they have, the only th way they can take an Octo is with Giratina. If I can just find the freaking Snorlax, then I think we win. But we can, we can knock out the Comfey. I can retreat. We can use Mew EX. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Uh, okay, there's Drapion. We don't want Drapion, but I think we put Drapion down because we want to Mew EX our way through this. Apparently, I can't use Mew EX because, again, this is a very well-made game. All right, let's go Gift Energy on the Luminion and then Research. Okay, well, there's all of my energy. Uh, I think it's impossible for me to win, but I guess I could boss trap the other Giratina. Right? That's probably my win condition, is boss trapping the other Giratina. So then we go, no. God, these games are... Lost Box is such a stressful deck to play against. Why can't these games be easy? Alright, so they probably have a Psychic. Or they're gonna, they're gonna assume they top deck a Psychic. And then if we just bosses... The other Giratina, they're down three escape rope. They're only... Oh, they're only down three escape rope, though. Oh, they don't got it. Okay, well, we win. You know, I was worried for no reason. We just got it like that. I will... Uh, we'll jet energy the Mew. Because that allows me the free retreat. That is why Mew is so awesome, is you can spread your energy around. Oh, no, I just have bosses. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking really... You know, how do we do this? Oh, we do it the other way. We can copy... Sure. We can copy Lost Impact and do all the things, but Mew is just a good card. It helped me draw out of it. You know, the Mew is what got me the research, so Mew just makes all of the decks better, and Lugia is winning all of the tournaments in the 151 meta, so I highly recommend playing Lugia Mew. It's literally like the number one deck right now, and Mew is, is, is busted.